realise until you leave sometimes how stressed you are. Where are you on retirement? Never. <laughs> Honestly, never. You, if, if, I, if I can stand up when I'm 80 years of age and somebody's, or even if, they, even if I'm sitting in a wheelchair, if they'll wheel me out to wave at the crowds, I will do it. Okay. Why would you? I, like, retirement, because you love it. I do love it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm like it just it just it really is the thing. What but, if you got to a point where you felt you were embarrassing yourself on a course? I'd do something else in the game. Okay. So I, uh, yes, I wouldn't be competing. So you would so you would, yeah. re, you, would you would potentially retire from the game, but you yes. might work as a pundit or something like that. No, not yeah. Okay, but I'd be more likely to be I'd want to be involved in it. I'd want to be around it. I I I will say and this was a couple of things happened. I played with uh, Fallo in practice round in 2000 at uh, the Masters and uh, nine holes and, and the man was just fighting so hard going around the golf course like it was a practice round on a Tuesday and it was like really grinding away and I said to him you know, after, you know what's it all about and he says well if I could just win one more major mm. and I'm looking at him going wow that's not going to change how anybody looks at you and now in the position I am I've won three majors I'm not going to change my legacy by going out and winning another tournament or winning even another major. I enjoy what I do, but I'm not going out there to prove anything, trying to change the world. I'm on a busman's holiday, basically. Yeah. I get to decide what I do. I play. I love playing. If I, you know, if I don't want to play, I can take time off. I, and, and, you know, when, so say you were at a, a dark place w with the pudding for a while, or then you'd have the reputation, not that you read or care about it, but you have the reputation while he's tinkering and he's messing around and he's a mad scientist. Would you ever feel that you could damage your legacy? Oh yeah, yeah. No, there's no doubt. Is that a worry? I, there, there is, there is that element that I have damaged my legacy that I, I would be pigeonholed into. Here's a guy who won three majors and he changed everything and it all went wrong, which yeah. is is a long way from the truth. I know. It, it, it really is. There's, but, but I mean, I play golf with random people of a Saturday, and that will be said to you know. Say that, it to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. That is <laughs> the one blunt thing that they say. And if you want to wind me up, there you go. The one thing I often get from somebody, and and it it's the. It could come from anywhere. It could come from the taxi driver. And so, so why did you change the swing? <laughs> and of course, then I have to sit there and there's, there's the second in my head, do I answer this with, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, politely and just brush it off or do I actually get into it? And, and some days, you know, if I'm not having a good day, I might stick the boot in. Because you don't want that to be your legacy. The man who won three majors and then messed no, up the and, swing. And, and, and this is the problem we... we Golf, no, yeah, I, you know, and it's well, not the it, truth. It won't be, it won't be. Either. Well, well no, I, I don't want to be. Yeah, in that, the end of that's the day, only tattle, really, isn't it? I, yeah, I, but I, it's it's quite a strong one. It's out one. there. It's out there. It's very much out there. I, I like. Uh, you won three majors. I'm sorry. Anything you say after that, I'm not. I'm, uh, it doesn't doesn't. Yeah, yeah but I, I do have to anybody. be. I, I don't see again. I thought, said about Fallo, another one, maybe slightly different, but Sevi Ballesteros would have been a hero of mine growing up. I played with him all the year, ninety seven. Every thing because he was Ryder Cup captain so every round I was paired with Seve and it was a horrible experience yeah. now clearly Seve had, he, you know, he probably had the brain tumour at that stage who, you know but here's a guy on the golf course a hero of mine yeah. who was struggling big time with his game but it's not just the struggle it's the fight because he's a great champion it's the hurt that he's going through the the work level all that and you're, he's, he's dying a death out on the golf course and you're watching your hero do this I don't want to be that guy with the young guys. I We're remember not. he turned up at the, the, one of his last Masters and he had his old crappy old bag with no, no, no sponsors. It was really, really plain, ugly bag. And you right. just thought, this is Seve Ballesteros. I mean, really? Yeah, like we wanted Seve. And, and this is the thing, I would have loved Seve to walk into every clubhouse and just puff out the chest and go, I'm here. Yes. And, and the world loved, would have loved them for that. You I, said you don't want to be that guy with the young guys. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want the young guys to turn around and go, I'd be paired with, with Harrington and you know God look at him grinding away out there it, didn't that look tedious right Did, I want to be if I can play great but even at the level I'm playing at at the moment I want to be a guy wow that guy looks like he's having a great time out here he's having he's enjoying it and to be honest that's what's changed in my my life has changed that way quite a bit I'm not as serious as I w I'm serious no. about my golf but I'm not as serious as I would have been you know 10 years ago I enjoy been out there. This is the point with Wenger, you see. You, the three majors have made a difference to you. Okay. have made a huge difference to you in terms of uh, uh, how you uh, perform and how you interact with people and in t to yourself. You're not as obsessed as you were before. No. Right. No. But, uh, no, I was, I still would have been for, it's only now the last two, three years where I've come 
started playing better golf that mm. I've turned around and says, you know what, I've got to, you know, I can't be afraid of, you know, missing a cut and like it doesn't mean it doesn't change my legacy and that I keep going back to that. It doesn't change my legacy what I'm going to do in the future. I enjoy doing it. I like playing golf. I like being out there doing all that stuff. It's great. I, it gives me the in, in, intense, you know, feeling and all that. But I'm not going to burn myself out and be the old pro that you yeah, know go. guys don't want to be around. Yeah, I want to be the guy that guys will come up to me and say, "Ask me something." Mm. And 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 that's that's I want to be. Hel- I I am, which is amazing for me. I'd be a lot more helpful. I, if somebody asked me something, I would tell them the truth. And and whereas ten years ago, I guard. <laughs> I, oh, you know, if I, I know, talk about something, I, I guard it. Oh God, yeah. I can't give that away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but now I, you know, I'll happily tell anybody whatever you know, and and let. I I do understand as well. I could give anybody the best piece of advice, but it's still up to them to work on it. Yes, it's, it's not, not a guarantee. Like it's, yeah. So page two and three of the Sunday Independent is the other piece you mentioned there, which is Stephen Hunt and uh, Kevin.